April McKinney was raised on a farm near Yanceyville, surrounded by members of three older generations. She was indelibly marked by the lifestyles of those forebears, more so than by the interests of her peers. Now, on a nearby small farm of her own, she's determined to find her path by keeping alive the old ways she treasures. Even from the time I've been a little girl, I've been like a pioneer at heart because I was inspired by older people that had grown up and had to live that lifestyle. And it made such an impression on me that I just wanted to go back to that. I don't know, everything good to me is old fashioned and, and done by hand. and. There's just a, a specialness in that. I'm April McKinney, and I'm attempting to earn a living on 11 acres in Caswell County, North Carolina, and making a home in a historical farmhouse that was set for demolition. What we paid for the place was basically for the land. They threw the house in because it was set to be demolished. The house was supposedly built back in 1820s, and we found this land. My better half, Mark, and I collaborated on it and came together and redid it and really salvaged a piece of history is what I look at, and I own a piece of history now. My main business is selling flowers that I grow organically with no chemicals or pesticides. In fact, everything I do here uses organic methods. I've been in flowers all my life and I fell in love with them as a young girl. And that was something I did as a hobby and I collected flower books and, and learned as much as I could. I was recruited or one of the women like in my church or or doing a, a gathering or an event, they would ask me to do the flowers. And then I was invited to the farmer's market to bring cut flowers. Got my things together and went over there and started, and started selling the cut flowers by the stem or doing arrangements. That looks like a celebration right there. <laughs> I love flowers. But the flowers are seasonal, so to keep things going at the farmer's market year round, I've had to be creative as in making and selling homemade jams, jellies, and pickles. I also raise chickens in a movable coop, so what they leave behind naturally fertilizes grass and the pastures and amend the soil. I also offer the eggs at the market, which are organically raised. And the eggs are farm fresh and are beautiful colors and different sizes. One of the crafts I offer, the hardwood walking sticks from saplings I cut here on a place, skinning the bark from an antique shaving horse and draw knife, then I paint or decorate them. I make and sell a pretty wide variety of other arts and crafts, and I sell my own paintings that reflect the way I feel about living on the land and the beauty of nature. I've, I've taught myself, I mean, I, I don't boast about that. For the most part, it's really come from me just sitting down and painting. Well, I've had to carve out like a niche to keep my hands in the dark, so to speak. I have two horses and I collect antique horse-drawn farm implements, such as plows and hay rakes. I want to try to maybe do some breaking land with the horses. Since I have them and some of the younger people that weren't exposed to that, might get a chance to be involved in it or see it happen, so it's important to me. You spend a lot of time in solitude on this place. Do you ever get lonely? Occasionally I miss the sound of a voice, um, another voice during the day. Um, we'll stretch eight or ten hours at a time, but uh, I have my work, it keeps me busy. I have the animals to take care of. I have two working dogs that help with my chores, and so I don't have a chance to get too lonely. Everything that I have now, I like to multiply it by 10. I'd love to have a herd of 50 cows or 100 cows or whatever's feasible, but that would take more land and, and more resources. But for right now, one of the most important things is to keep up a certain type of heritage and a certain type of old way of doing things. I wanted that uh, down back to basics, back to earth type lifestyle, where I do things with my hands and I, I, um, spend, I'm close to nature and, and the real things. 